devotion to accuracy from uh, people out east. I thought the Francis Scott Key Bridge was open for business again. I guess they just, they've cleared all the debris. That bridge in Baltimore? Yeah. I think you're thinking the Philadelphia one. That got done. Like the, the Philly overpass. one, yeah. That, that one, one is, is done. But I yeah. guess I was thinking, I thought I had read that the Baltimore one was open too, but they have just. Well, you're wrong. Uh, <laughs> stupid, stupid. Uh, you, stupid, stupid. The debris is clear and the shipping channel is open, but the bridge is not up and running. All right. I'm sure all the harbor pilots out there are very happy to hear about that. Uh, dogs and cats living in the same house sounds like pandemonium. Yeah. Hmm. Um, hey, Dick. Hey, how are you? What's going on, Dick? Oh, I just wanted to, I told uh, your screener, uh, we we don't, tomorrow is, I think it's a special day. Oh. That they were talking about it here in uh, on the news this morning on one of the stations that the flag the, to represent the uh, June Fourteenth Flag Day, the flag of America, and what's it stand for for freedom and and justice for America. I think they ought to put that our veterans that die that they give the flags to the families. I think that's a a very good uh, tradition in history. What do you think? Well, yeah, Veterans Day. You're talking about Veterans Day? Or, uh, Flag Day is tomorrow, but Veterans Day is in November. Yeah, yeah. I just think that it's neat because uh, we had done uh, a little tribute to, uh, we pledge allegiance. I, we always do in our band, a couple of our bands, but I think we should honor these uh, people a lot more. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Absolutely. And, I, don't, uh, I don't think anybody would argue it. So, so, Dick, what you're saying is you're um, you're a purist when it comes to the flag, right? Big flag fan. Right, right. Yeah. How do you feel about those yeah. people who are flying it upside down? Yeah, yeah. But yeah. I just wanted to tell you, too, oh. that, uh, well, let's see. I, I celebrated three anniversaries. I've been in the Kettering Banjo Society 38 years. And they gave me a little, uh, oh, they gave me a couple CDs of the band. And I've been in the Strummers, the Beaver Creek Strummers, four years. Playing the uke. And oh, then the good benders. for you. Yeah. String benders. Uh, you play the folk, you know, the rock and roll. And, you know, we, we did a song today, and uh, uh, it was by Van Morrison. We're learning these, uh, these. Uh, let's see, Van Morrison, and I think there was another one that uh, one of the rock and roll uh, did, Stand By Me. And these songs are good. These songs are good. And then... Uh, the Dulcimer group we had, we did a tribute to, uh, all this month we did a tribute to the Native American songs like This Land and, you know, uh, uh, what is it, Circle Being Broken and things like that. So it uh, shows a little bit, I think, of patriotism in America with what's going on, you know what I mean? I think, don't you? And I also wanted to talk about the, uh, what is it, the Guardians, how good they're doing. What do you think? What do you think, guys? But I thought I'd check in, and I hope you didn't forget me on, you know... On my shirt, hopefully. I'm sure you'll get it in the mail pretty soon, I hope. Right? was I going to wait for him to figure it out? Jesus, no! I was trying to wait. Patriotism. But come on, man. He just wow. wants that shirt. He is tenacious. He really wow. wants that shirt. Did you get a shirt? Where's the shirt? Uh, no, I had a bit of trouble with their website, actually, and I had to, I was dealing with uh, CLE Clothing Company's customer service. So I'll take another crack at it. And uh, But last week I was in the process of ordering a shirt for Dick. And um, 
they were they were having some issues. So I'll uh, go back. to God, I I, you know, we've done that bit before. I don't like it. Why? Because it feels mean, and he well, doesn't have mean. a lot of people. But he, oh come on, the dude He's calls like it. A, he calls man. every radio station. He I calls, understand I, that. I treat, basic, based on what other people have told me, right, that was one of the first things I learned when I came to Cleveland. When I was getting the lay of the land and I thought it was just some funny old dude calling, all these people started to blow me up. That guy calls every radio station. Okay, now I know. He's harmless. He's fine. You guys have met him. I prefer to keep our relationship professional. That's fine. I have no ill will toward him whatsoever. Why do but you think he calls, meeting people? Why he the- calls every show, which is fine. I, I guarantee, based on what people have told me, no one treats him better than I do. Every other station he calls, all I hear from other people is, man, they treat him, they make fun of him, they treat him like crap. I don't do that. I let the guy talk. I'm giving him my valuable airtime. And it's fun. But how long was he got? Normally he goes, all right, you know. He doesn't mm-hmm. hear us say anything. And he punches out. All right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he kept going. Wow. Why You always say I like to keep our things uh, professional by not meeting people. Not meeting dick. But not people. I meet people all the time. Dick. You've said it about other people, too, though. Regular callers. Yeah. Right. Well, what's wrong with meeting them? There's nothing wrong with meeting them. You guys met them. There's nothing wrong with it. But how is it I'm not fi- professional? I'm fine if I don't meet Dick. Right. I met Drunk I Sue. I want to say, well, what's the professional aspect of it? I like to keep him. He's a caller and I'm the host. Right. And he still is that, even though he's- No, played. I don't need to run into him out in public. I, I mean, I'm not gonna. You know what I mean? He's living in well, Kettering. He's dating. And, yeah, dating. Right. I'm not gonna. But Mary's met him. Right. He at came a, to her a show. Professional it's not, function. I was like, it's not. Like, You've met not, him too. Yeah. Yeah. It's not unprofessional. Right. Yeah. It's not my fault. You guys have buyer's remorse. I, I buyer's remorse. I, I have. Remorse. I have. I'm fine. I like to keep him on the phone, and I'll mm. be here. I guess my thing with him is that I'm like, I get it that he can be a bit much. Okay. He's lonely. <laughs> but he is. He's a lonely but old man. That, great. So, like, icing him out. But that's not on, what, what, I have to play along every single time? You because don't I have mean, to play along. Well, but... when I do, I'm trying to I'm trying to entertain here. And if, you know, if we're having a little bit of fun with him, listen, I've been here almost 15 goddamn years, and this guy's been calling since day one. So he's certainly. Tenacious. Is, no, oh. he's not walking away with any hard feelings. I mean, people can't stand when I put Dick on the air. But I, you know, we have a little conversation with him. Sometimes it's easier to follow than others. Sometimes, usually, he just blows right past whatever we're saying. That's fine. That's all baked into the cake. I learned that a long time ago. I just thought I was surprised at how he kept going there. You know, we we have most of his rhythms down by this point. But, um... But nobody gives him the airtime and the latitude that I do among all these other radio stations. So nobody's going to make me feel bad for pl- having, a, having a, a go at Dick. I, I, so, yes, so that's what I mean. Keeping the relationship professional. You guys want to hang out with Dick. I know. Nobody. You told me. You want to hang out? I was doing it. <laughs> you so that We're not our, our listeners have him in studio. <laughs> yeah, listeners wanted to see what he looked like, and I figured, you know, yeah, the, let's the, show there's him. nothing wrong with it. So, that is, so I did that as a professional courtesy to nothing our listeners. Nothing wrong with it. So yeah, Flag Day tomorrow. That's also the Army's birthday. My father was an Army veteran. My nephew is stationed in Germany. The Army. Now, the station down here in Canton treats Dick pretty good, but it is a sports show. Well, that's the thing, too. He probably he probably has more linear thoughts when it comes to calling a sports show, I would think. Well, I mean, that's really all he talks about here, is sports and his music. Well, mm-hmm. yeah. Those are the things that are important to him, you know? I'm not trying to have a back-and-forth <laughs> conversation with him. Well, that's impossible. Oh well, <laughs> you guys have. You've had normal conversations with him. 
Not really. I mean, just oh yeah, showed him like. I think I, you just I, feel I'm, bad for him. Just a lonely old man. And if, I that, that should tell you something. If he's got to call every single radio station, he doesn't have anybody. He's got a girlfriend. I don't know that she's he's, real. I believe she's real. It's just they're both in their eighties or whatever. So it's not like they're you know tripping the light fantastic. Alan, I agree with Mary. Thin Lizzy is 70s cake talk singing crap, which is why Bill likes them. <laughs> talk singing? That's not Thin Lizzy. Phil in it's singing. Thin Lizzy is for old guys stuck in high school who also like bad to the bone. <laughs> hey. You can do it right away. Uh, bad. Dude, stupid Brian. That song came up somehow when we were together, and I like made a joke about it, and he was like singing every word. And then you know what he did? He set his alarm to that, the guitar riff, the da na 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 Yep. So, like, the next morning, he had it on full blast because I was making fun of him so hard for liking that song. And then to this day, that is still his alarm. I'm like, God, I hate you so much. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> He's trolling you with bad to the bone. <laughs> Every time. He's like, like, oh, time to get up, babe. Right. Oh, and when man. we're home, I when am I was so home, refreshed. When I was home, his alarm goes off at 4.30 in the morning. Mm. So I'm in a dead sleep, and he's got it cranked, and you just hear, -na 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 -na. I'm like, turn that off right now. Hey, when he walks the streets, kings and queens step aside, all right? Every woman he meets, they all stay satisfied, right? Not has sex with. Every woman he meets is satisfied yeah. with him. It's funny when people will ask me occasionally, who's one of the biggest dicks you've ever met in the course of your career? George Thorgood always comes to the very top of my mind. Jo At least when I met him, he was a dick. And I'm like, dude, it's not my fault you're playing a rib fest, all right? Don't take it out on me. I'm trying to be a cool guy here. But the great song. And one bourbon, one scotch, one beer. But So when he wakes up, he hears bad to the bone. That's how he wakes up. When his yeah. alarm goes off. <laughs> but except it's like from the phone. It's but it like also jazzes you phone. up. Yeah, it also it doesn't. No. I don't even know if I have that ringer option. But it's like I don't think he recorded it or down. I don't even think he knows how to download music. To be hundred percent honest with you. Um, but yeah, it's just <laughs> so loud. Babe, I'm gonna just take a quick so, nap. Wait so me up loud. in twenty minutes. All right. That's oh. yes. Man, and I picture him good. just sitting straight up in bed. Yeah. With sunglasses on. <laughs> <laughs> he throws out the covers. He's got a yeah. leather jacket on yeah, and boots. Leather jacket on. And he's putting his work gloves on. Yeah. He's just, he doesn't know. have to do his work. Have a good time. I don't even know family. which, what it would be called on, on the iPhone. Well, it's probably just in, um, you go into t uh, sounds and tones. Yeah, but then you can look through songs. bad to the bone. It Do you might. Know what I'm saying? Yeah. Seedling, story time, tease, tilt, unfold, valley. <laughs> oh, like none I, of no, these, no, those are the saying, none of these have. Those are the defaults. You can go in and grab songs. But I don't think that he did that. Oh, I see. <laughs> Blue. Well, he did something, right? Nope. Sorry. 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 It's not that. I thought but that was me for a second. Mm -hmm. Oh. But yeah, it's one of those. <laughs> I was like, you son of a bitch. <laughs> oh, that'd be great. Tone store. I bet it's in there. Ripple, slow rise, strum, maybe? Nope. Hold on. <laughs> it's just that part. That's what he's got. I don't want to find it. No. Da -da -da -da. Because it's so loud because it's not. Oh, man, I'm going to set that as my ringtone. It's not the song, though. Do you get what I'm saying? No, it's just... And it's so loud because of it. No, I'm not going <laughs> to find it. Uh, it's on there. I mean, he has the uh, same iPhone I do. Yeah. Motorcycle? No. <laughs> girls, girls, girls. <laughs> yeah. Alan Bryant's not paying for ringtones. That's what I'm saying. So it has to be on the phone. I see. Not even 99 cents. I don't think so. Wow. I mean, I haven't done that in a million years, but they're still in there. You go into the, I, I mean, I barely ever use. Is iTunes still a thing? I know Apple Music is on your phone if you have an iPhone, but I don't ever use that because they're, I don't know, the compression on it is weird. Or something. I have no idea. iTunes. Remember iTunes? It's an arpeggio. 
Is that a, an arpeggio? Uh, it's a guitar thing. Like, oh. <laughs> that is what it sounded like. <laughs> you guys were talking Stanley Hotel yesterday in Estes Park, but that is also what excited me about it the most. That is the bar in the lobby where they filmed the scene in Dumb and Dumber where Jim Carrey is walking out of the bar and he sees the framed newspaper from the first <laughs> moon landing. And he goes, no way. And then he walks out into the lobby and tells everybody that we landed on the moon. That's where they shot that. I guess we, thank you, Matt. I, I guess we never went to the bar in the Stanley Hotel. We stayed there some years ago. And my, I mentioned it yesterday because my daughter had been spending some time out in Colorado. And, but I don't remember that. No way. That's great. <laughs> we landed on the moon. <laughs> Cameo word up in the background because you know that's what they'd be playing in that bar. That's your favorite movie, yeah, Mary Dumb and Dumber. One of your favorite, favorite movies. Comedy, yeah, I love that movie. It's so it's so fun. It's like one of those two where every time you watch it, I feel like I catch on to something new that I missed before. Yeah, there's, there's so some, many. There's so much subtext in that movie. I can see where you could watch it and not it get is, not get everything. Is, I mean, every little joke. <laughs> My sister actually, I think I might have told this story before. She had seen the movie Dumb and Dumber, but um, it wasn't until I took her shopping for her first set of luggage. Yeah. You know, poor people don't have luggage. We didn't grow up with a luggage set. You know, just take a duffel bag or a backpack or whatever. And we went to the Samsonite outlet at Aurora Farms. And she looks at it. She goes, Samsonite. I was way off. I was like, did you not know that that's what that reference was? Because he was looking at a briefcase that was made by Samsonite. She was like, no, but that makes so much more sense. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I thought he just was reading the name wrong. I was like, no, that's the brand. Oh, she'd of never heard luggage. of Samsonite. She had never heard of Samsonite luggage before. Yeah. Yeah. That's how much Brian loves Mary. He will spend 99 cents to annoy the piss out of her. No, he didn't buy it. No, I don't, and that's what I'm trying to, f I don't know what it's It's very called. unlikely. Maybe, can you imagine the one ringtone he ever bought? Imagine it's the just one time, me. yeah, Bad of the Bone. Well, no, no, just maybe he loves that song so much. He was playing what I called old man music. Like, he was in charge while we were getting ready out here to go somewhere just for the day, and he was in charge of the music. And I'm like, turn this old man music off, and Bad to the Bone was uh, the one. Yeah, but he doesn't want to listen to Fallout too. Boy. I know. I Old know. man music. Dude's I mean, 35, isn't he? It's clear water revival. That's great it's it's music. Clear music. It's oh timeless. You're you so annoying. Men. You guys are old. So men. is he. Okay. No, he no, ain't. He's, he's 35. Not. He's like 37. Yeah. He's 37. That's old enough. And no, he acts like, like an old man. And yeah. he's 52. But my right. wife is 41 and she loves Credence. She's the one. I wish she didn't get me into him, but I mean, she we share that in common. She loves that stuff. It's not. Oh, when you say old man music, yes, nobody can argue Who that. Who cares? But it's good music. Well, to yeah. you. <laughs> to everyone Not except to everyone. you. To you. You're the only person I I've ever heard of that doesn't like Credence Clearwater Revival. I didn't say Revival. I don't like it, but when you're doing I can't do it for an hour. I'm like, all right, man, we got to throw something well, else in why, here. Their songs, gotta, were, their songs were pretty short. That's like 45 Credence songs uh, in one hour. Well, that's why you got to have like a, you a mix playlist with yeah. a mix of things. Yeah. Mix it up, man. We well, was just on Spotify. Yeah, but there's you no... You can mix things up on Spotify. Yeah. They do it pretty automatically. I love how you guys are allowed to say what's good music and what's not. No, yes. we're not saying it's that's, good. No, we are saying that is, are. A, that, is a, that is a band that has stood the test of time. There's a reason okay, all those bands... There's Here's a reason all those bands are still being heard 40 and 50 years later. It can be good music and old man music. That's true. I didn't say it was an old man up. music. Yes, you did. You got all up in arms. I didn't because say I it, it was an old man music. I, no, I didn't That's say so it. <laughs> no, I said you're annoying because you don't like good music. It's not that I don't like it. It's just an hour of old man 60s rock is not what I want to listen to. I'm not even saying you don't like good music because that's completely subjective. It's just that no, these songs the have been around for a, The joke used to be back in the day, the Freedom Rock but commercial. Not the way she poo-poos everything we like. You well, guys we, hate everything I like. We, not everything, but I mean, uh, my point is simply that, like, your boyfriend probably doesn't want to listen to whiny early aughts emo. Well, I like other stuff, too. Uh-huh. Like early 2000s hip-hop and R&B. <laughs> well, yeah, you're a white which girl. might be his least favorite. <laughs> oh, well, <laughs> that's fun, too. I don't mind that. If we're on a long car ride and my wife wants to listen to that, like, on satellite or something, I'm like, yeah, I'm right there with you. Someone said bad. it's called Piano Riff, which I still have this open. The arpeggio one is? Hold on, wait, ready? Yes, 
There wow. it is. You hear it oh, it's the piano. Oh, that is terrible. It's so loud. Oh, this I want to hear the riff. This is just my phone next to the microphone. Oh, no, that's terrible. 4.30 in the morning. Yeah. 4.30 in the morning. Oh, no, it's that's so terrible. so loud. <laughs> No, when I was a kid, they had Freedom Rock on. Turn it up, dude! It was all old man music. Hey, man, is that Freedom Rock? Yeah, man. Well, turn it up, man. One of them's got like uh, a, a American flag head wrap on. And my favorite is the punk one. Which one is that? The, co- the commercial. They're like, we can finally get all our favorite punk songs, and then it's like Talking Heads and stuff. Oh. You know, war, protest, going to jail. Well, man, we found this new album called Freedom Rock. It's got all those great songs we used to groove to back then. Just listen. What's the SNL bit they did on that? It was like, uh, oh, God. They did a bit on SNL that was like, I forget what it was. Punk commercial? Yes, Punk CD 90s commercial. Punk CD 90s commercial. Yeah. Rock Lobster from the B 52s. <laughs> it's. What really makes us mad is wasting money on CDs with only one or two good songs. Yeah. Talk about punk. Yeah, we got this CD called Punk. It's loaded with our favorite tunes, man. Yeah. Just listen. In excess. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Crowd it out. That's a good song, boy. Mm. Oh, your favorite punk. Yeah. This punk CD has 36 tunes, man, and I'm telling you, they're all great. Yeah. I wonder why the, they the would... first comment though is ironically making a punk CD with absolutely no punk is one of the most punk things I can uh, think. That of. is true. <laughs> I was gonna say I wonder why they called yeah. it that. Yeah, Mickey from. Uh... Sharona. Well, there you go. They also included uh, another version of that song on there. Hey, Mickey, you're so kind. You're so kind. You blow my mind. Hey, Mickey. Hey, Mickey. Hey, why can't we get all our favorite punk? Squire Masonry. Hey, that was punk. Yeah, I don't know. We were punk. We had a little new metal in us. Yeah. Gnu metal. We were doing some crazy stuff. We weren't ready for it. I, You were ahead of your time. Yep. I got a break here. Uh, comedian Adam Ferrara going to join us uh, closer to 420. He is uh, doing the weekend at Hilarities. Always like seeing him, so we'll catch up in a bit. I'll have those Burt Kreischer tickets for you later on, too. Uh, they Next week, Thursday night, they're bringing that full